What's your stance on um, current immigration, like laborers from Southeast Asia, or even the more hotly debated, um, perhaps, the like refugee asylum law that's... Uh, in Taiwan? In Taiwan, yeah. Oh, so I think so far we don't have the law for fugitive, right. and especially like in the past several months, uh, our government was thinking about like the uprisings in Hong Kong. And some of the DPP supporters, they say the government of Taiwan should accept more, say, refugees from Hong Kong for uh, political reason, for, for political asylum. But I think uh, our president Tsai Ing-wen, she reject the offer, she reject to accept more refugees from Hong Kong. So I don't know why she was trying to re, uh, reject the other refugees. So the point is, I think the current DPP government, the ruling government, okay, again, DPP, not PPP, we are different, right? <laughs> DPP government was, um, um, they, they are rejecting the, all those re refugees from all other countries. I think Taiwan should have more things to do to enhance our society, we should make our laws more friendly to refugees and any other immigrants from Taiwan. I think there are more things for us to do. We are not doing good enough now. Um. So you are, you are from uh, California? Not originally, but I live there now. Okay, good for you. <laughs> I like, I think so too. What is this Taiwan Obama Association? Oh, because um, you know Obama was uh, born and raised in the States. Of, of course, he was uh, from Hawaii and he is a child of immigrant. And actually we have like uh, about 5% of Taiwanese uh, people here are the like the offspring from Southeast Asia or Japan because personally my mother was, was from Indonesia uh, I was born in Indonesia and raised here so we have lots of kids like me are like a mix, mixture of having a mother from uh, other countries especially from mainland China and Southeast Asia so we have an organization to support all the Southeast Asian Taiwanese or mainland China Taiwanese, all the immigrants, second generation uh, generation immigrants, just like uh, President Barack Obama. So he is uh, very innovative to all the kids, all the immigrant kids in Taiwan. So we love him. Yeah. Are you Democrats? <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, yeah. No, no he's, a, he's a Democrat or from a uh, Republican. I think. Uh, his contribution is he is the symbol of all the immigrant kids all around the world. I think that's pretty important. <laughs> when, when my mother married to Taiwan, she barely speaks Chinese. So I was raised here, but uh, I speak with my mother in Indonesia all the time. So basically I'm a bilingual person speaking Mandarin Chinese from uh, in school and speaking English with my mother. Do I speak English? Yeah, oh, so okay, maybe <laughs> Chinese now. So uh, I'm always supporting like, Taiwan is an immigrant, uh, immigrant society. So we are very open to all the people from all around Pacific area. It's like, Mm, so I, I think that's also the stance of our party because uh, our party, two of the slogans of our party are uh, Baoro, uh, mm -hmm. compassion mm -hmm. and Baoro, uh, and tolerance. So we will accept that no matter you are, your, uh, no matter your ancestor were from mainland China or from say Japan, or from Southeast Asia. We are all Taiwanese now. Yeah. So I think that's the reason why Mayor Kowenzer and also our party chairperson, that's the one of the reasons that he nominates me 
as the candidate for running the legislature for this election. <laughs> my name is He Jinrong, or you may call me Kim Yong. Kim Yong is my Indonesian name. My mother was uh, from Indonesia, and she barely speaks Chinese when married to Taiwan. So I was well, born in Indonesia, but I raised in I was raised in Taiwan. So since my childhood, I was um, raised and educated in a bilingual surrounding. But I believe uh, I'm not that different with other Taiwanese kids. Because some of the Taiwanese, even until today, they still have the stereotype like the children of immigrant families, especially the immigrant families of Southeast Asian origins are, you know, uh, ill educated, lots of drop off kids, and making uh, lots of social problems for Taiwan. But the reason why I want to run for this election is I want to prove to the people in Taiwan and even everyone in the world that uh, as a kid of immigrant family, I am not worse than any other Taiwanese kids. We are, uh, we should have uh, the, we should be able to stand in the equal standard. And because uh, since my childhood, I was a very, the so-called um, well-educated, well-performing student. Um, my Chinese is not worse than any other kids, right? I can speak Chinese. Um, I got two scholarships to study in the U.S. One is the Ministry of Education of Taiwan scholarship for studying abroad, and also uh, my pleasure. I am a full writer. I, I won the scholarship from the from the United States for having a chance to study in the United States for my PhD degree. And I was also laureate uh, Outstanding Young Taiwanese of 2016. Uh, I think we have the same award in other countries, right? Uh, outstanding Youngster or something, uh, which was held by the JCC. So I think I'm not worse than anyone else. So I think the reason I want to run for this election is also to prove that Taiwan is an immigrant society. More than 98% of all the Taiwanese are either immigrant or the offspring of immigrants, right? Except the Aboriginal people here. So no matter you are from, your ancestor is from Japan or mainland China, or Southeast Asia, or Aboriginal Taiwanese, we are all Taiwanese. So the reason that I want to run this electoral campaign is to prove that we are a very open society. No matter you are, uh, your ancestor is from other country, but we are also, we are all Taiwanese. Is this the first political election you're participating in? For me? Yes. And uh, I think like from early September, it's just like my second one to only two months as a politician. Yeah. I'm very new to this uh, area. Which district are you running in? Uh, Songshan. Oh, what, what should I say? Uh, Bei Songshan. And the North Zhongshan, Zhongshan. Yeah. yeah. So actually, we have eight district for Taipei City. Mm -hmm. So my area is um, what should I say? Do you know Huabo Flora Expo Park or Taipei Songshan Airport? Somewhere in Taipei. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the downtown area. My district is very urban. So just maybe just around here. So my district, I think, is um, kind of different to other you know, other electoral districts, they are more like rural or emphasizing on um, agriculture or manufacture uh, industries. But my districts are full of uh, salary men, like workers and 
everyday day-to-day persons so yeah I think I'm just one of them I'm very local to my district yeah because uh, I was born in a very poor family and um, the reason the only reason that I, I was able to go to the United States for uh, my PhD program was because I have scholarship I was working hard enough I tried to do my best and I won the scholarship. Of course, I also have the governmental bank loan. That's the reason I can go to the States to study my PhD program. So I think I'm very close to the urban, should I say poor people? <laughs> like very urban, you know, um, old, um, urban layman. I'm just like one of them. So I really understand how people are very uh, very hard to survive in the urban area, especially like Taipei City. So that's the reason. Oh, oh by the way, because I was, uh, my childhood, I passed my childhood just near Taipei City. Even in past two years, I was working in Fengjia University in Taichung as a professor. But because uh, this time running for this election, for me, this is also a homecoming election <laughs> because I passed my uh, childhood when I was an uh, elementary school kid. I have my elementary school experience just near, I think, Songshan I think just that direction, not very far. Um. Yeah, we have seen that both the KMT was not doing very good during the uh, ruling. And um, also, since 2016, DDP became the ruling party. But I'm sorry, they, are not, they were not doing very good. Especially, we can see that in last year, the ruling DDP was suffering a fiasco in the county and mayor elections. I remember they won only six seats, right? Yeah, she six. Only six, yeah. Yeah, only six seats. Yeah. They yeah, just they, only earned six yeah. seats, that's all. Among yeah. like 25 counties and cities, the ruling DVP won only six seats. Because the main, uh, the main reason was like, the young people are very dissatisfied to DVP. Because we saw it uh, when I not joined the Taiwan People's Party before, and I think we support DPP before because they give us a lot of hope, mm. and we think, oh yeah, maybe they will change the Taiwan's position in the global. We think, but uh, after four years, we we saw they don't do anything for us. Yeah. And including our job. Like yeah. young people's yeah. job, the opportunities to get a yeah. job. I think DPP was rising in the past because they, they have got the support from the young people. Yes. But during the past three years, we have seen that DPP do not care that much about the young people, especially about our uh, like job issue mm -hmm. and household use issues. Mm -hmm and especially the education issues. DPP was not that caring about the youngsters. That's the reason that they, su they were suffering a fiasco because in the past, their supporters was young people. Mm -hmm. But now, we have seen that they are not doing very good for young people and they are not caring that much about the job, the household, other uh, issues for the young people. I think that's the major reason why uh, they lost in the election last year. Uh, instead, we have seen that DPP was doing their best to allocate their resources to all the party members. For example, like Wu Hongmo, right? Mm, yeah. Lots of the crony, the crony from the DPP, the ruling party, they were they, they have been allocated to different uh, public enterprises like uh, Taiwan Post System, the, uh, the director, the president was also a politician, Wu Hongmo, right? Yes. He was the former uh, 
Minister of Transportation, and he made lots of problems. Uh, for example, like the derail of Puyuma, Puyuma Rail, Puyuma Fancho, and also he was not a very good uh, minister. During his ruling, uh, Nanfang Ao Da Chao, one of the most famous bridge in Yilan County, was broken, was fall down, and killed more than six, yeah, six fishermen. Uh, I think it's just two months ago. Yes. The the maintenance of that bridge was under the monitoring of Mr. Wu Hongmo, the former um, Minister of Transportation. After making lots of problems, and he was promoted to the president of uh, Taiwan Post Office and getting very high pay. I think that's the reason make young people angry to DDP because you don't care about the uh, welfare of young people. Instead, you care about the welfare, the money, the payment only to you, to your own party members, only to your own crony. I think that's the reason why we are so angry.